Mr. Moraji Desai, former Prime Minister, died in the Jaslok Hospital in Bombay on the afternoon of Monday, the 10th of April. His mortal remains were consigned to the flames with full state honours in Ahmedabad this Wednesday. Mr. Desai had entered into his 100th year on the 28th of February this year. Distinguished personalities from all walks of life had greeted him on that day. The body of Mr. Desai was brought to the Vidhan Bhavan in Bombay, where it lay in state till Tuesday to enable the leaders and the people to pay their tributes. Later, it was flown to Ahmedabad in Gujarat, Mr. Desai's home state. The last rites were performed on the grounds of the Gandhi Ashram Goshala in Ahmedabad on the banks of the river Sabarmati. The first non-Congress Prime Minister of India, Mr. Desai took over when the Janata Party came to power in 1977. But he had to resign from office in 1979 due to internal squabbling among the constituents of the ruling party, after which he announced his retirement from active politics. Mr. Moraji Desai's colleagues and associates recall him as a Gandhian who scrupulously balanced precepts with practice. I worked very, in very close contact with Moraji Desai. I knew him as a man of principle, a man of firm conviction. Muraji Desai was a true Gandhian. Gandhian in the sense that he imbibed the principles Mahatma Gandhi preached during the freedom struggle. Muraji Desai only did not preach the principles, but he lived up to those principles. Mr. Muraji Desai remained steadfast to his principles throughout his life and found admirers from all shades of the political spectrum. I was certain that he would certainly complete his century. But somehow God has willed it otherwise and he has passed away, leaving behind a void in public life, but leaving behind memories which will inspire many in public life. With the death of Mr. Moraji Desai, an era of politics in India is over. He was among the last surviving leaders who represented the continuum between the freedom struggle and the decades of independence.